There are new details coming out tonight about a road rage incident boiling over in a school parking lot. Two grandfathers squared off, forcing some West County teens to spring into action. I watched him kind of speed up a little bit and run him over. And I heard a crunch. The man in the vehicle ran him over once and then drove around the parking lot for a second time. And they say this man would have done it a third time if they didn't step in. News 4's Caroline Hecker is at Parkway South in Manchester where this road rage story took this dangerous turn. Caroline? Well, Corey, this road rage incident actually started on Manchester about a mile away when police say the victim cut the suspect off. But it ended very violently here in the school parking lot. Jose Vasquez says he was walking to his car after school when something strange caught his eye. Two elderly men arguing, one inside his car, the other recording outside of it. I yelled repeatedly, stop, sir, stop, get away from each other, stuff like that. And it then led to them separated for quite, I would say, like a couple seconds. But it quickly escalated into something far more deadly. And the man in the vehicle ran him over once and then drove around the parking lot for a second time over completely over his ribs and was going to do so a third time until me and his wife jumped into action and stopped the car. Moments before, senior Jalea Connor was about to leave the parking lot when she saw Jose and the two men yelling. I heard like arguments and everything like that. I didn't want to get involved at all. Um, because it's not my business. I don't know what's going on. But she waited as her mom called 911 in the car, unsure of what would happen next. And then that's when I watched him kind of speed up a little bit and run him over. And I heard a crunch. And that's when I was like, yeah, I got to get involved. She rushed to the 72-year-old victim, unable to move, suffering from broken ribs and a shattered pelvis. A lifeguard and trained in CPR, she stayed with the man. He kept it hidden, but he was terrified. Um, he didn't want to open his eyes, uh, wanted to keep his eyes closed, um, told him he couldn't do that, um, and just like held on to me and Jose's hand the entire time. Now, 73-year-old Michael Gallagher is charged with first-degree assault, armed criminal action, and second-degree robbery. He's currently being held on no bond. And if it was not but for them, I really believe this man could have been much more seriously injured if not killed. Both students say they're still processing what they witnessed in their school parking lot. I did not think he was going to run over him a second time at all. It was unbelievable that I even saw him go around the parking lot just like to get momentum to run him over for the second time. Now, police say after Jose and the victim's wife stood in front of Gallagher to prevent him from running over that victim the third time, that Gallagher then got out of his car and wrestled the victim's wife's cell phone out of her hand before driving away. Police say if you're being followed and you suspect it's because of road rage, the best thing you can do is drive to a police department. If you don't know where that is, call 911 and the officer will find you because while getting a license plate can be helpful, it is certainly not worth your life. We're live in Manchester tonight. Caroline Hecker, News 4. Yeah, just an unbelievable story there. All right, Caroline, thank you.